hello everyone welcome to success education today we'll be doing the uh, science journal solution for standard 6 experiment number 10 the aim is to prove that a bar magnet free to rotate in the horizontal plane always comes to rest in north south direction the apparatus and materials are wooden stand and the substances to be used are bar magnet and thread and you need to draw the same figure on the right hand side and the procedure is take a bar magnet put a mark on one of its end for identification tie a thread at the middle of the magnet so that you may suspend it from a wooden stand in such a manner that the magnet can rotate freely in the horizontal plane let it come to rest mark two points on the ground to show the position of the ends of the magnet when it comes to rest. Draw a line joining the two points. This line shows the direction in which the magnet was pointing in its position of rest. Now rotate the magnet by gently pushing one end in any direction and let it come to rest and observe. And the observation is, the magnet always comes to rest in the same direction this is the north-south direction and the conclusion is a bar magnet free to rotate in the horizontal plane always comes to rest in north-south direction. Now test your knowledge. Question number one is MCQs. First one, which of the following objects is attracted by a magnet? It's option number C, iron nail. Second, which one of the following metals is not attracted by a magnet? It's option number D, silver. Third, what is the shape of the magnet used in a magnetic compass? It's option number B, needle-like. Fourth, what is the shape of a bar magnet? It's option number A, rectangular strip. Now, question number two. Answer the following questions in one word. First one, in which country was magnet discovered? It is Greece. Second, which English alphabet is written on the north pole of a bar magnet so that it can be identified? So the answer is N. Third, ore of which metal is present in magnetite? It is iron. Fourth, how many poles does a magnet have? It will be two. And fifth, which instrument is used to find the direction in an aeroplane? It is magnetic compass. And here we come to the end of experiment number 11, uh, 10. I hope you have understood the complete experiment. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.